Well, hey there, and welcome back for another Second Hand Opinions video. I'm Jason Alderman, the internet's favorite fat mouth, fat ass, bringing you fat stacks of fuck facts. And uh, you might have noticed things are shifting gears now, and some of the folks out there that are involved or had been involved in this whole attack on Trump have new things to say now. Maybe Lisa Page has something new to say. And Epstein's lawyer has nothing more to say ever again. And Pelosi is called for impeachment. Joe Biden is visibly losing his fucking mind. <laughs> and uh, I guess yesterday or today, Xi Jinping in China have uh, decided that they're going to be mean to American non-profit organizations in a few other <laughs> spaces, which I suspect has nothing to do with a political space and everything to do with a tactical space. Xi Jinping isn't getting what somebody promised him. So, since his old system has broken, his old toy has broken, He's throwing a fit and breaking their toys. The people he used to play games with. Which I suspect is Nancy Pelosi and Hunter Biden and a few more other folks. There are a lot of small players, but right now those are the, the ones that are, I think, in the biggest crosshairs with, along with Adam Schiff. Um... But I wanted to mention uh, another thing. So, since Nancy Pelosi has come out for impeachment now and, and requested officially that impeachment uh, move forward, and Xi Jinping has decried Donald Trump's trade war and decided to take what little actions that he can in the face of looking like a Real tough guy there calling Trump a racist. Um, Donald Trump doesn't want a trade agreement with China at this point. I don't know if he ever did, but I can tell you right now that we are so close to the end game that the players who are on the other side of the chess table can't escape. And Checkmate is already... Uh, uh, obligatory. It's it's gonna happen. So that's why we started seeing like these people started shifting gears, like Lisa Page coming out of nowhere saying she's got more to talk about it. And uh, you know, like I said, Xi Jinping is not gonna get a trade agreement with Donald Trump. At this point, Donald Trump is just gonna use Xi Jinping as uh, in China as an example of what happens when, I mean, okay, to go back to an earlier video, I talked briefly about how Donald Trump is likely using very many tactics from Sun Tzu's The Art of War. One of the things, the concepts in Sun Tzu's Art of War is that you build your enemy a golden bridge through which to escape. Donald Trump built Xi Jinping a golden bridge to escape from what's coming next. Xi Jinping refused to cross it. Donald Trump built another bridge. Xi Jinping refused to cross it. Xi Jinping is mad because someone broke, took away his toy. The toy he's been stealing from other kids. So he wants to break toys. Donald Trump doesn't want to play with petulant children like that. He wants to work with people who are looking to better their country. China's out. China is the example problem child. China will be remembered as what happens when you start throwing a fit in the sandbox. The kids get up and go play on the swings and leave you alone in your sandbox. And you could hang out with all the cat turds and plastic shovels by yourself. Um, when China cra crashes, it's going to fuck people up, folks. 
That's an end game space. I'm curious how Donald Trump is going to keep China from falling apart and the Democrats from literally shitting the bed all over the world before 2020. I don't know how he's going to keep all this shit in the horse until after the election. That's all he's, I mean, he doesn't have to do that. But in my estimation, it would be better for his presidential space if he were to drop these articles on the public in a timely and orderly fashion. That's a good way to put it. In such a way so as to disallow any naysayers. Here are the facts. One, two, three, four, five. Look at them. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five. They're facts. It's tough to argue with that kind of stuff. And the only time Trump doesn't come with that kind of stuff is when he's completely bloviating. He's talking shit, being a smart ass. Or he's wrong on purpose. If I if he tells you that eighty five billion dollars were spent on building widgets for the space alien program and they news companies come out and say you know he was wrong it was only 35 million dollars then he gets to stand on national news and say yeah i was wrong but we saved 50 million bucks we didn't actually spend and you're like well yeah okay we didn't spend 50 million that's pretty good and the news told the truth for once that's how he gets them to tell the truth and that's why he will say something that is blatantly wrong. Because they're going to come back behind him and correct him. Since they have a habit of not telling the truth in the first place, it's fun to twist the little buttons, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, for me, the most blatant step when he started doing this and showing everybody dramatically that he had the capacity to make them tell the truth was with the border wall and Ocasio-Cortez and no crisis at all to there's a crisis of confidence to there's an overwhelming humanitarian crisis at the border and it's Trump's fault and look at all the evil that he's doing. They're starting to get skittish by the way. Like uh news breaks and it could look bad and we're going to paint it bad for Donald and then they wait a second because they're like maybe this is another one of those damn pitfalls kids in cages cages Obama built ice colleges catching illegal immigrants only knowingly cheating individuals who defraud the system oh and did I mention it was instituted by Barry Shut up, you. Uh, it's it's difficult to be very angry at Donald for following through with policies that he agrees with that Obama instituted, all while claiming that he's tearing Obama's legacy apart because he's a mean, nasty, evil man. <laughs> Lots of egg on these Democrats' faces. You've noticed people, the news included, are slowly turning away from the fake media space and they're, they're slowing down, if not stopping the shitting on Trump on a daily, every hour on the hour basis. The people who have been perpetuating this billions dollar taxpayer scam. And that's just this presidential term. By now, I'm sure you guys have picked up the idea that what they've been doing is putting American politicians in connection with the industries that receive American foreign aid. Because the American politicians, they'll, they'll, okay, so what Hunter and Joe Biden were really doing, okay, they don't care about natural gas in Ukraine. They can give a shit less. What they were doing is they put Hunter Biden on the board of the power company or gas company or whatever, the industry there. Now he is 
connected. He's a two-way street between the government in America and the corporation in Ukraine. And the corporation is likely uh, got to be government-managed. So the, the individual who works for the government uh, lobbies the government for aid for this other country. And the aid is collected and given to the company. And then the company takes half of the aid, let's say, and puts it in Joe Biden's pocket or Hunter Biden's pocket. And then they get to do what they want with the rest. And there's no one to check. That would be what Hunter Biden would be there for, but not because he doesn't really exist. So he just kind of implies that there's some kind of credible sort of integrity to the system. But there isn't. They just pocket American taxpayer dollars that they lobby for foreign aid. Why do you think they're so invested in spending our money in some other country on some ridiculous thing than managing the homeless and hungry here in America, managing the destitute veteran population, managing the uh, individuals who are too sick to work or invalid in a better fashion, managing the amount of feces on the street. Yeah, Portland just legalized that too. Wow, that's great. Why do you think they're so interested in pushing the money offshore to some place where no one looks at it anymore, no one cares about it anymore? I mean, the American people don't care. Once you say this money is meant for Ukraine's foreign aid to defend against the Russians at their border, then we send them X amount of dollars, which we're not really paying attention to, and that money is now gone. So anybody who was paying attention to it stops because it's Ukrainian money now. And where it goes from there is not our business. We assume that they're going to do what they needed it for. But when they've been put up to siphoning the money corruptly from the government to their own pockets through this avenue... Well, of course they're going to be like, what do you mean I can just lie to the Americans and you'll help me lie? And then we'll get like, oh, I don't know, $8.7 billion and divide it evenly amongst the board members here. There's 10 of us. Just a thought. So Pelosi's doing this in China with her son. And Biden's doing this in Ukraine with his son. I suspect Hillary and Barry were the front runners for the spaces in Russia. Who else is up on the block? Where's Adam Schiff been recently? Alrighty, guys. Let's all keep pretending like our opinions matter. Leave that shit in the comments below. And remember, this is social media, so do all the things.